Hi everyone, you're back in my kitchen. This is Stephanie, and I want to thank you all uh, because now I'm over 500, so that's pretty good for me. I didn't even think it would get that much, but I'm thanking you, and I'm hoping it keeps going up. And uh, please keep subscribing and doing what you what you do, and let me know what you want. All right, but today I'm gonna um, do some some I guess you would call it a sort of a of a beef pot pie and the thing is I made some um, beef stew and I had some leftovers and Perry said wow this would be good if it was in like one of those pot pie things so I'm gonna try that so I had some leftovers and this is what I'm trying I, I already started uh, I already started to um to, to work with this but we'll see what I did is I had I got some um, you know those pre-made rolls you know and I popped it open and then I Use my rolling pin, and I rolled it, rolled it out, put it in my, uh, in my muffin tin, and, you know, I'm going to see how this thing comes out. Of course, I uh, used some Crisco, the solid Crisco, to make sure that I got it pretty well greased so I can make sure it could come out when I'm finished with this. And I used a whole can. I, I think, I mean, I need, actually, I need a little bit more to stretch it out, but I'm going to try to stretch it out with the last bit I got and I'm going to try to show you guys what I'm doing so what I did was I took one of these these uh these uh um biscuits and I just rolled it out you know and I'm going to really roll it out nice and thin um so I can try to get the last two in and put some tops on them so that's what I'm that's my goal here so we'll see so this is how you roll it out I didn't even put any flour on the bottom of this board, on this um, on this rolling board. I didn't put anything. It's just just going for it. So I'm rolling it all out, and I'm gonna try to get it as thin as I can, so that I could get it in the muffin tin. You see, I did that one, but I want this one to be thin. So. Watch me. And I guess, you know, you can make your own muffins or, or dough. But I'm not doing all that because, you know, this is like a quick thing if you want to try this. This is not for, for me, it's not to be making a big production out of it. So, to me right now, this is production enough. Okay. So I'm trying to get it as thin as I can on that one. And I already rolled out this side. As a matter of fact, let's see. And this was half of another one. Let's see if I can roll that out a little bit more. So I just want to put something on the top. I think this will do. As a matter of fact, if I can roll it out so I can get it just on the top, this may work well. Okay. Bye. Okay. I think I'm going to try this. All right. So I had already rolled this one out. I'm going to put it in the pan right here. I'm going to stick it in here. And this is my grease muffin pan. I'm going to get it in here. And you see I got this over over um hang, which is what I, I kinda want. So that it can so when I put the topper on, it can kinda stick in there together. So I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen here. It should actually be fine. So and here's the other one I just did. I'm gonna stick that one in also. Get it in here. And I got one. Oh, I need a third top. I see why I did that. Okay. So you know what I'm going to do? Take a little piece off. Nothing wrong with that. That's what dough is. Dough is like clay. Man, you can do everything with it. You got all the extra. You can make it work. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this work so that I have enough without opening it up or buying another can of, 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 this, um, of this muffin stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm going to do. Get her in here. 
And you, I need a little piece of you too. That's what I like about this. I like, I like putting my hands in clay. That's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going to try this. Do it that way. Go over there. Because this stuff is really forgiving. Only you know what it looks like. So, I'm going to stick you in here. I got my overhang. Use my fingers. And you too. Come on in here. Use my fingers. And even you guys. Okay. Come on out. Give me some room. There we go. So we can have enough to put on top. Take a little off of you. Put you over there. It is uh, still September, um, almost October, so it's time to get in here and bake some things and do some things like for the fall. And it's a little crisp today, and I love it. <laughs> I love this weather. It's my favorite time of the year. My birthday is coming up, so I love this time of the year. Now, this is my stew that I made in another uh, recipe, and you will see that. But I'm gonna finish this up in here. It's my beef stew. I try to put what I can in here. And it really still smells real good. So when you have leftovers, that's the best thing to do with them. Do something like this. It's got carrots and peas and all kinds of nice things in here. So I'm gonna to try to put it in here. it all but I'll do my best I'll do my best with it okay I think that's good enough okay so we got the we got the stew in and I got this piece of uh of uh dough left or or, or muffin or we call that uh, biscuit left I'm rolling it out I'm gonna roll this piece out And see where I see how far I can get here, right? Okay, I'm gonna roll it. Could use a little flour, but I don't want to put flour on right now. Could use a little flour, and it wouldn't stick. This might be just fine, cause I only need a top. Yep, I think it might work out great. All right, here, yeah, see, only need a top. So I got a top one here, and that'll be fine. I'm gonna try to pin it together, pinch it, so it stays in here nice. When I got this one, I'm gonna cut it in half. A little like, kinda half. And take you out, and do that with you, see? It's coming out very nice. These are much thicker. Cause I just used a whole um, or half of a, a of a muffin of a biscuit, but yeah, whatever. We should see how this comes out. I think it's still gonna be good, cause this uh, stew is good. So I'm gonna put, pinch it together like that. Put it together, and then I'm gonna take a little knife, a fork. I'm just gonna put a little hole right at the top. So it gets a little bit more air, even though it's got gonna have some air. Stick a little hole in there. So there we go. The directions on the box, uh, on the can says, "Hey, get a hole in there. Come on, I want a hole. Don't really need that much of a hole, cause I got you coming out." But the directions on the can says to um. To put uh, the stove on 350 degrees, and I have my stove on 350 degrees. Pinching that, I want some hole. There you go, a little bit. And I got the stove on 350, and I, it, I'm gonna put it in for maybe, I guess. I really need this to get brown, so I'll say maybe 10 minutes. And we'll be back in 10 minutes. I'm gonna stick this in my oven, and it's on 350. 
let it bake. I'll give it like 10 minutes. Actually, I think it says a little bit more. I'll give it 10 to 15 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, see you later. Okay, I'm back. Uh, my beef stew muffins. I guess we're gonna call it that. Um, they've been in, uh, in my oven 350 degrees for uh, about 25 minutes till they got brown. And you see, I still have one left in here. Um, they're a little difficult to get out, but you know, if you just take your time and, and the proper tool, I think you can get them out. So I'm gonna show you how I got those, these five out. And we'll try to get this one out the same way. So let me just get this thing closer to me. And I use my spoon and my spurtle to get them out. Because you've got to get up under there. you got to get up under to, to lift it out. So I'm getting under here like that. That I can do without busting it. And try to get, actually, if I say you have to maneuver this sucker. I'm going to try you a little get up under a little better and voila I got it out there we go so that's what they look like and they smell good and I'm gonna give it a taste I'm gonna take it out take it with I guess I'll take her why not take her right there and we're gonna give it a taste and I think it should be rather delicious so because these these uh, biscuits are pretty good anyway, so we just take it with some, with some stew. Mmm, this is good. This is very good, very good. I think Perry will like it very much. It's really good. Mmm. 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 Delicious. You will see my recipe for this. You'll see it. You watch what I'm doing with this. But my recipe, I mean my video for the um, the beef stew will be up there too. You'll see the beef stew before you see this. But I'm sure you'll give this a try. It's getting nice and crispy outside. Nice fall weather. I love it. I love it. And you got to go back in the kitchen and cook now because a little cool outside but it's nice inside so anyway everybody thank you for everything thank you keep thumbs up keep watching keep subscribing i appreciate it and everyone have a great day bye bye